Hingwez is a U.S. government-funded initiative, U.S. aid uh, activity of uh, $32.6 million to support agricultural productivity, agricultural access to markets, and incre increase and in improve nutrition in uh, 10 districts of Rwanda. Uh, so USAID is behind this, but it's in uh, close partnership with Minagri and uh, the Rwanda Agricultural Board. Uh, th with whom we uh, implement uh, projects and activities mainly around uh, helping farmers grow more, then helping farmers sell more, and then helping farmers use that additional food and the additional money to eat better, uh, farmers and farming families. So uh, Hingueze hopes to have an impact on over 560,000 farmers uh, over the five-year life of our project. Uh, helping them to grow more through better inputs, through climate smart technologies, adapting to less rain or more rain, adapting to drought, uh, also helping them better access markets, distribute uh, their products better to uh, regional, international and local markets. And of course on the nutrition side, uh, our activities designed to reduce stunting and uh, reduce malnutrition in the uh, more isolated sectors and cells of our 10 program districts. Uh, this is an initiative of the USAID Feed the Future program, and so it is very much focused on the connection between growing more, selling more, and eating better. Uh, so we're very, very pleased uh, to be partners with USAID and to be partners with the Rwandan government, particularly Minagri and RAB, uh, as we implement what we see as uh, CNFA's most important project uh, uh, globally. And uh, the CEO of CNFA, Simon Roy, is here to also talk a little bit about uh, CNFA. CNFA is specialized in agriculture and all segments of the agricultural value chain from production to processing to export, quality improvement, uh, climate uh, mitigations to shock, role of women, gender in agriculture, the very importance of youth in agriculture as well. And, and we are um, obviously dedicated to, to contribute to uh, improve ag productivity. Why is because we are certainly well aware that uh, by 2050, we will need to double, uh, to, to feed double of the population. And so how to do that with the same natural resources? How to do that with the same uh, a quantity of, of hectares and uh, water availability. So this is a, a serious concern. We think that by adoption, for instance, of improved inputs, improved seed, more drought uh, resistant seed, improve of use of fertilizer, improve of appropriate crop protection products, uh, pesticide, insecticide, uh, and, and so on. And also, better access to mechanization will all contribute to improve ag productivity. And this is the reason for why we are so excited with this project. And this is also the reason for why the US government, via the uh, USAID, uh, asked us to implement this project. We are committed. We are dedicated. We have a first-class team here in Rwanda under the leadership of Mr. Dan Gies, and we think that all elements are in place to succeed with this project. As Dan said, this project is the most important one of the entire CNFA's portfolio, and we will do everything possible to succeed with the project, and this will go via a very open language discussion, dialogue with, uh, with uh, the government of Rwanda, uh, different authorities, agencies, also with, uh, with the stakeholders. We don't want to come here to Rwanda to say this is what you have to do. We like to share our thought, listen what the, uh, the population is interested to invest it, and use our grand facility, which is uh, uh, quite uh, important. Huh? The grand it's a matching grand facility of $5 million that will leverage, uh, with leverage in initiative, all together to improve productivity and nutrition.